Yeah, so I, I came to to the university that day to take uh, take an exam uh, in the afternoon, and during the exam, started hearing gunshots and screams, and you know, after a few minutes, I couldn't really pinpoint whether or not it was you know really happening because you know your first instinct is that it just cannot happen to you, and then after a while, we after a few minutes more minutes, we kind of realized, okay, this is actually happening. We need to do something. Um, so it was just me and my professor. Um, during when I was taking the exam and uh, so we barricaded the door and we tried we locked the door to make sure that you know there was no way for the, the shooter to come in because he was going through um, different classrooms as he was inside until he could do what he was trying to do and um, yeah so thankfully like we locked the door in time and he was not able to open our door and he just um, he went from the inside to the balcony where he was also shooting at people and we stayed there for like an hour and just calling our loved ones and just telling them we were safe. Um, yeah, so it's just been a state of shock since then, really. No, there are still people that are are trying to locate their loved ones. Um, when I was at the police station, someone came up to me and asked me, show me a picture of um, one of the students and asked me if I if I had seen her. And um, sadly, I hadn't. Um, and in, yeah, it's just people are trying to get in touch with each other, make sure everyone's OK. Um, it's a really good support group. And um, yeah, you're just never really prepared for it. But it's in the end, like, I'm, yeah, very grateful for um, the support of everyone. and to try and get through this. No, I I am an inter international student. Um, the student was a, a Czech student, so we don't really have uh, classes with um, one another, but uh, um, he was a history student. And yeah, so as you mentioned recently, like he he had murdered his father and, and then he, he came here. Um, I didn't really know him personally, but I had seen him Yeah, I'm fine. Um, you know, you just never think it will happen to you, and especially not in in Europe. Um, I, I I lived in the U.S. for a very long time, and I would never I would have you know if it were to happen anywhere, it would have happened in the U.S. But now it's it's spreading like a like a disease, you know, to Europe as well. Like this this copycat mentality. Um, you see it happen in Denmark and in Serbia, and now in Czechia, and it's just um, it's it's just incredibly frightening, you know, 